kind of the approach this week, knowing that you got a big one at the end of the season and maybe uh, the championship game too? Well, just our same approach, you know what I mean? Try to prepare, for, you know, don't worry about winning the game. Just focus on our preparation. Uh, really good team, score a lot of points. Uh, I love what they do offensively. They got a really good offensive scheme, you know, hard power running game, spread you out, throw the ball vertically, you know, stretch you vertically and horizontally. I mean, they do a lot of good things. Um, you know, this, this is going to be a tough challenge. They're also a team that's playing for a, a bow uh, berth and bid. So they're going to be, you know, fighting, scratching and clawing to do all they can to win. So this is going to be a battle and, you know, our, our guys are looking forward to it. Are there fewer distractions now that the red, red the record is out of the way for Keenan? Uh, I think so. I mean, a lot of it, you know, were, I mean, I, I, obviously for Keenan, you know what I mean? But uh, he stayed focused. I don't think, you know, I thought he did his good as anybody could do with all the attention that was been surrounding him during this time and you know you just got to be ready to make sure we're ready to play. Having gone on the road and beat Memphis the confidence level is probably pretty high going and you have two road games left to finish this out. And hopefully we can but you know every week's a new challenge uh, you, you just got to make sure we can learn from that game anything we can take from it but just knowing that just because we beat Memphis doesn't mean anything this week yeah. but you know I still think you can always draw on experiences to hopefully uh, maybe certain things that you did in preparing to try to get ready. But again, this is going to be a, a team that's, you know, fighting to get their sixth win. And, um, you know, hopefully, again, that mentally we've been prepared. We've been meeting the challenge so far, and hopefully we meet this one. Do you look ahead at all knowing that you have a short week coming up after after this week? I do. Yeah. Not them. You know what I mean? I just, yeah. uh, you know, ready got our practice schedules, what we're going to do, and come back, you know, just – I've actually been thinking about that for a long time and just, um, but you know, as we got closer to the game, you got to tailor a little bit more just to see how you feel and stuff. But um, our main focus is Tulsa, right. but you know, obviously I got to make sure that we got our plan in place, you know, after this game, but um, cause it's a, it's a short week next week. Can you talk a little bit about the defense? I mean, I, I think You've been here a long time. Uh, I don't know that numbers-wise, as far as points allowed, yards allowed, they've ever been this good. Um, I mean, you're number one in the conference in both of those key stats. Yeah, we're playing really well on defense. Um, I don't know, maybe in 97, or 90, I think we you know, had some pretty good numbers, but it's been a long time, and we're playing. You know, we've played good defense, but we're playing great defense now. And um, Dale and said the staff have done a good job of getting us good plans. The kids have been playing hard against really good offense, and we got another challenge. You know, I mean, another potent offense that, um, you know, the one good thing is we've been preparing for up-tempo teams since camp. You know, our numbers have uh, hopefully get, prepared us for this type of thing. We're in great shape, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So people, they go fast. I mean, it's, for us, it's not a conditioning thing. It's just trying to get lined up. You know, they do such a great job with what they do. Um, two different philosophies, I think, with the power running game and the vertical passing game, uh, and they do it fast. You know what I mean? So that's where they present our problems, and you're trying to look for your signals, trying to get lined up. And hopefully we can, you know, get lined up because if you don't, you're going to get torched. I mean, these guys are so good. Well, has it been a surprise to you? Because, I mean, I think a lot of people thought coming into this conference this was a big worry. Is that spread offenses? I mean, these are teams that have given Navy trouble in the past, teams that spread you out, throw the ball all over the yard. Are you a little surprised at how well you've done against these style offenses? Um, we got to keep going. we got a few more. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? To this point, I'm really pleased with the way we're playing. But it's an overall team philosophy what we're doing. You know what I mean? We're these up temple teams are playing other up temple teams and they're used to getting the ball fifteen times. I was gonna ask you about that. And what so, you do might throw them off a bit. We're trying to slow down. You know what I mean? So for these guys that are used to getting it fifteen, sixteen times, we're gonna try to give it to them ten. You know what I mean? And try to give it to them, you know, eleven times. And uh, it's always been our philosophy. Uh, where normally up temple teams like playing up temple teams because they're both going fast. It's like mm -hmm. people that you know that shoot three pointers and the other team shoots and they just run up and down and you know shoot three pointers and keep gunning. We're a methodical Michigan State. You know, keep passing the ball to three mm -hmm. seconds left on the clock and shoot it. And, um, and hopefully our philosophy keeps going. Well. Um, Gonzalez, uh, I was a little surprised that he wasn't able to play. Um, what was his situation? Uh, just a spasm. You know, what I mean, just hopefully he. 
you know, he's doing a little bit better, but hopefully we'll see. He's right not now, he didn't practice today. Yeah, he's day to day, and we'll kind of see where he's at. When, when did that occur? Is it in the previous game, in the Memphis game? No, that, practice? that happened Thursday. Just but. Right, so it was late. I was yeah. wondering because you had said you were healthy, and yeah. so. Um, it, but, he's, uh, but I thought you know the guys that played, you know, uh, from Micah to um, Kelly, Kelly to Gobel. I thought all three of them did did good things. All right. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Keenan, is it less distractions for you personally, knowing that the record's kind of out of the way now? I didn't really see it as a too much of a distraction. It was kind of more of a nuisance. But you know, now that we got out of the way, it just feels like you know, a monkey off my back. Don't have to talk about it anymore. So we just move on and and just focus on other things. What's kind of the approach, knowing that you got a big one Houston next week, and maybe also the championship game possibly after that too, going into this week? It's one to know. You know, we don't overlook anybody. Tulsa's a great team. They got a great offense. Very solid on defense. Uh, Stout on defense. They've, you know, they're desperate for a bowl game, five and five, playing at home, senior night. I mean, it's everything's kind of falling in their favor. So we we can't overlook these guys. We got to come to play. You going on the road for the last two. How much can you take from going on the road against Memphis and winning there? Does that maybe give you a little jolt of confidence? It's week to week. You know, yeah. uh, don't really matter what happened in Memphis. We got to show up same way on Saturday and get ready to play. And then you know, once we get through Saturday, then we'll focus on the next week. <laughs> Uh, I didn't want to bring this up on Saturday because everybody's in such a good mood, but the, the passes on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, some guys running wide open. Yeah, yeah, What yeah. happened there? Uh, you know, we just uh, – we, uh, we didn't connect. You know, it happens. Um, you know, we had some guys running wide open today, and we, we did a good job of connecting them in practice. Um, That's what Coach said. You did a good job last week in practice. Yeah, so, uh, you know, it happens. Uh, you know, we just maybe a yard off here or there. But, you know, the good thing is uh, we still able to get the win, and – we can get it corrected this week in practice and, and move on. Do you think it's adrenaline in the game? You just do that a, a little extra home for? I think there's some some aspects of the game that you can't necessarily uh, emulate in practice. Obviously, you just everybody has extra gear in the game when you're going fast. But you know, the best thing we can do is just come out here and just go full speed and try to simulate as best we can. I'm like I do a better job, add some touch, a little bit more air on the ball. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, I'm confident that we'll get it corrected. Coach said, Jasper said, it's sometimes harder to hit a wide open guy because it's like <laughs> he's so wide open. Yeah. Is it almost harder when you see a guy that wide open? Um, it is definitely like, oh, shoot, he's wide open. <laughs> uh, just get on the ball. Uh, right. and he, he's worry about messing up the throw more than if he's got somebody hanging on his hip. Right, right. Um, so right. I would definitely agree that, you know, sometimes just a wide open guy is a lot harder to hit. Right. Now, Coach Jasper, I know he's your coach, but I think after four years, he's gotten to be almost like a second father figure. He lost his mother. I don't know if you, how much you knew about that, if you talked to him about it. Definitely. Uh, he he uh, let us know the day after it happened in the meetings, you know, just reminded us to, you know, cherish our parents. Um, so, you know, I definitely gave mom a call after that meeting and just kind of talked to her. I told her I loved her, you know. But, uh, you know, condolences out to him and his family uh, uh, for his loss. And last but not least for me, Tago, you know, he's going to be taking over for you next year more than likely. You think the kid can do the job? I think a lot of people are worried about life after Keenan Reynolds. <laughs> Absolutely. I think he, he has all the tools to be great. Um, he can run. He can throw. He's smart. Um, you know, he's, he's a good runner. Like he's a running back, so he's just a great athlete. Um, I think, you know, he's going to have a great spring, and he's definitely going to take over the reins and do great things for us. All right, thanks, Keenan. Thanks, Keenan. Thank you. Tell me, I mean, as you look in next year, you're likely to be the starter. How have you approached this year knowing that, I mean, this is a big learning year for you, I would think? Oh, just paying attention to Keenan, just seeing how he prepares for week in, week out. And I think by watching him, I've learned a lot. And I think that's how I took, took in coming to this season, just watch how he works and see what I can do after that. Well, Keenan gets a lot of credit for being able to read the defenses, make checks at the line of scrimmage. I mean, that's kind of that next level, uh, graduate level of this offense. Um, Coach Jasper said it, at this point he's not so sure how you'll do because you haven't been put in that position enough for him to know how well you'll be able to read defenses, make audibles, etc. Is that something that you try to work hard at in the meeting room and whatnot? Definitely. I work on work on it in my room and me and Kenan we even talk about things like that I see what he sees out there, or ask what he sees out there and I pretty much ask like when he sees something what should he, what should I check in this situation and he helps me out a lot has it helped being able to get into games this year I mean that kind of I guess keeps you engaged and also it keeps you knowing the speed of the game I, I think being able to get into some of the games where the you know whether it's at mop-up time or having to come in for Keenan against Memphis and against Notre Dame like you did Definitely, definitely need that experience to get out there because, I mean, obviously, 
next year if I don't really have any play time, then I won't really know what to do. But, I mean, it definitely helps. It helps me get that experience, get the flow of the game, game speed. So. And the Coach Jasper said the one thing that he did has a one concern about this year, the interceptions you threw, he felt like you didn't go through your progressions, that you forced the pass. Is that some of the decision-making issues you still have to work on? Yeah, I, de- I definitely need to clear that up. I mean, obviously, I still got a lot of time to get that done. But, I mean, we come out here to practice, work that out, and I'll get it done next week. All right, thanks, buddy. Good Thank to see you. you.